All right, in a previous video, I showed that I created a battery by just taking pennies, zinc, new pennies, and copper pennies. If you haven't seen that video, click yet, yeah, click to the upper right of your screen right now, watch that video first because that'll show you how I made a simple battery out of copper pennies and zinc pennies. Zinc pennies are 1983 and newer, copper pennies are 1981 and older. All right, and um, click the upper right hand right now, and you can watch that video first. Before you watch this one, it'll make more sense. All right, so what we're going to do in this video is we're going to take my homemade battery, and uh, oh, first I want to I want to introduce my assistants. This is Alien, and this is my Buddha hand. These are my assistants right here. So those are my uh, my lab assistants. But anyway, let's get back to the uh, video. So we've got we got a homemade battery and then what we did is we I discovered a Tesla over unity ether quantum coil now what I did is I hand wound this coil myself with lots and lots and lots of wire and the secret are these taps I put a bunch of taps in throughout the coil that stick up and what they do is they harvest the ether of the universe. Now around us, Einstein knew this, uh, um, Tesla knew this, Moray knew this. There's an ether that surrounds the universe, surrounds the earth and the whole universe that has unlimited power. You just have to tap it, tap it safely and then you can use it. And um, one way to do it, there's a lot of different ways, but I created this coil. Now here it is, it's just a piece of wood, nothing hidden in there. It's a piece of wood with um, wire, this special wire. It's a, it's a composite wire, and, and I'll see if I can fig find out wh where I got it, and I'll put it in the description later. But, and I wound it on here, and I used some uh, hot glue to hold the windings down. That's all that is, is hot glue. And uh, you can see it. Now, what I'll do is just to prove it to you, I'll put the meter on voltage first. It's on voltage. and just to show you my battery quick here because um, I've got that set up I've got a zinc penny a zinc penny and a copper penny and I drop it in the uh, solution it's just uh, vinegar you get I got 0 0.79 0 0.77 volts you can see it's right here it's on 20 volt scale uh, 0 0.7 0 0.7 volt and again watch my previous videos so you figure that out take it out put it in so there, that's the voltage. And I'll drop the penny, and I'm going to hook it up to the one wire of the coil. Drop the penny. Oh, I don't want to drop it in there. And then take the, take it, put it on the other end of the coil. Just to prove there's no battery in there. All right, so there. As you can see, the meter's zero. I've got it hooked up to the coil. Now to prove. Now here it's it's hooked up. You can see the meter zero. Now to prove it's on the coil and there's conductance through the wiring, I'm going to put this on ohms. Hopefully I can do this with one hand. All right, so now I've got it on. There's 200 ohm scale, and you'll see 12.2 um, a resistance of 12.2 ohms in the coil. So there's 12.2 ohms in the coil, so it is conducting through. There's no voltage here. I'll show you. I'll take the lead off. And you'll see the meter went to one or zero. You know, there's no conductance. Now I'll hook this back up. And then you'll see 12.4, 12.3 ohms of resistance. And um, there you go. Now I'll throw it back on voltage. You see 12.2 ohms. I'll go to voltage and it's zero. Okay. Now I'll take, there's the coil. I'll take the leads off the coil, set it aside and just quickly go back to the battery or the pennies zinc penny copper penny drop them in and you get 0.66 volts the voltage is dropping because the zinc penny is getting oxidized and, and also there's going to be a little um, electrolytic action here where it's actually electroplating 
the copper's, I think the copper's going to the zinc. It's actually electroplating the zinc. So as this zinc gets more um, copper on it, or possibly uh, just oxidizing, it will conduct less and you'll get less voltage as what's happening. But there is something, it's 0.5 volts or so, 0.57 right now. But now what we're gonna do is we're gonna hook up to show you to harvest the ether and the um, to harvest the ether of the universe I built this coil with the taps again these taps are really important so now what we're going to do is hook this coil up in series with the battery that I made it's going to take yeah it's going to take some voltage and what the voltage does is it excites this coil and then I'll get if it works, I'll get more than the 0.5 volts out. Maybe we, we can even light a light bulb if it works. So that's what we're going to do. So now I'm going to just I'm going to I'm going to um, connect this to that. All right, I adjusted the camera so you can see the coil. Now I've got the coil hooked up here, and I've got it hooked up to this clip lead. As you can see, it's right there. It's connected to the coil. You can see right there. Yeah, hopefully you can see that wire. So this clip lead is connected to the coil. I got a copper penny to that lead of the coil. Then I've got the other lead, another lead to my zinc, which I'm actually going to add. The zinc's getting really corroded. So I'm going to put two of them in here just to make sure I got plenty of power. All right, so I got the zinc. One one side of the coil I've got connected to the copper penny. The other, uh, then I've got zinc pennies connected to a lead. Then I've got the lead connected to the meter. Now you can see it's on volts; it's, it's zero. Um, then I've got the other end of the of the meter right here connected to this lead right here, and then. This yellow lead here is connected to the other side of the coil. You can see it right there. Right there, hopefully you can see that. So I've got, that's that's gonna be a complete circuit. Now once I drop these into the, um, the solution here of vinegar, um, as you saw before, you get five volts or so, or 0.5 volts. So you got 0.5 volts or so. And what happens is I'm feeding it in series with my Tesla over unity quantum coil that takes power right from the ether. Now again, it's very important. You've got these little taps out. I did the little taps. You gotta be important. Now there's, there's all the taps are out. These taps help um, safely grab the, the power from the ether of the whole universe and now it's going to add to the voltage hopefully if this works now I'm not getting something for nothing but I am going over unity because I'm taking 0.5 volts and I'm going to feed it into this coil and hopefully we'll get enough uh, voltage to uh, do some work and actually uh, light a light bulb so that's what we're going to see um, Let's just see what happens. All right, put this in here. Copper, and then the zinc. Oh my God, my God. Look at this. I've got these just right, the, um, the taps. Now, I am on a ley line here. I'm in Minnesota, I'm on a ley line, so that does help. But you can see, 3.56 volts. That's amazing amazing okay it worked of course I duplicated this earlier and I'm just happy it worked again everything is perfect the Tesla coil is all the little uh, taps are perfect now let's see if it'll do some work I've got an LED bulb here nothing fancy you can see there's no battery in it it's just an LED bulb I'm gonna try it I'm gonna put it on this leads here hopefully I get the polarity right I'm going to hopefully you can see this. I'm going to put it on the lead and bring it over. Oh, look at that. Look at that. It does work. So, not only does the over unity take the 0.5 volt 
add in looks like we got you know and add in a couple more volts to it and it'll do work look at that I'll try to turn this so in the camera a little better look at that it's actually lighting up that LED bulb hopefully you can see that um, so there it proves that Tesla was right there is an ether that surrounds the earth if you can tap it safely you can run your if you did this right if I built this coil huge you could probably run this whole house off of it um, but I'd have to build a huge coil right now it'll light, you know it'll do a little work it'll light an LED bulb but so it, you can see it drops the voltage to it from uh, on the uh, meter so we got there we go so it drops the voltage to 2 volts, 1.98 volts, and it's running an LED bulb, which is work. This is a load. So that proves that this is working. So this is secret Tesla power. Um, unbelievable. It's doing the work. Now just to show you, I'm going to take this. I'm going to connect this directly to just the battery and see you went to zero there I'm gonna take this and connect this to the battery just the the battery in the soup here and see we only got point point five seven volts you can see that point five seven volts um, with just the uh, the zinc and copper pennies and put it in with the Tesla coil and it gives you what did it give you three volts pretty amazing so there's the experiment you can uh, you just have to you know it, there's a secret way to wind this and I know it would work better if I had an iron core but this is just a just a plain piece of wood uh, if I put an iron core in there I bet I'd, e I'd even get more voltage but I didn't do that I just uh, wound it on the piece of all it is is a piece of wood with with uh, tightly it's not really tight but it's kind of tight the wire and then I've got the taps the taps are the secret all right so there's your Tesla over unity secret free power um, coil that turned 0.5 volts went in there took the ether and created enough voltage to do work and um, I hope you enjoyed this video please share it please like and please subscribe. Thank you.